welcome back to our channel. I am back. We are back. Well, it's just me to start. Uh, everywhere. It's toys, guys. Everywhere. Oh, I'm so happy to be back, guys. We took a bit of an unexpected break in January, but we are back. Well, like, like I said, it's just me. James has gone uh, just taking the dogs. I say dogs because we're looking after James's parents' dog at the moment. Um, so he's taking the dogs and Mabel on a dog walk and visit my mum's today. I've been filming all morning this morning and I just, it's one of those where I've been wanting to pick up the camera for ages, but I feel like I've been, you know when like you've had a bit of time off something and then you're like overthinking the return back to it, like even just getting back to general work after like Christmas holiday or whatever. But just going back to vlogging, I was thinking I needed like a full day where I was doing something exciting and it just wasn't coming guys. Then we were traveling, we came back home and I just thought, today I just thought, right, I finished my filming. I'm just gonna be, although I'm just doing boring stuff now the rest of the day, editing and tidying, like this kitchen is an absolute mess as you'll see in a minute. I just thought, let's pick up the camera and just go. It might be over seven days, random footage here and there, but that is what our life is at the moment. And I feel like if I don't <coughs> rack on and just film something, hmm, thin hair doesn't always suit that style. Um, if I don't crack on and just kind of get on with it, I'll never do it. And I have so much to catch you guys up on. I feel like I'm gonna chat your face off for five hours. I've started writing a notes page on things that I need to tell you about because I just have so much, it's been a long time since I've spoken to you guys. So I won't bore you with all of these points now, just general things that we've been doing. So I actually might make myself a cup of tea, guys. Let's have a cuppa. I've only had about six today so far. Yeah, we've just had like general things going on with house move. I can't remember what the last update on that was, but basically everything was going great. We were actually like gonna be moving into a house at the end of January. Chain was complete. Everything was going. We found this house we loved. We had the whole train like buyer, buyer, boom, boom, ready to go. Then our buyer's buyer pulled out and then it all just collapsed and went downhill from there. So we're back viewing houses. We've been kind of like, that's kind of, you know when it just like whizzes around in your head all the time, something like that. And you're just like, I just need to get on with my normal life. But also I can't stop looking on right now. Um, so there's that. Then we've had a lot of palavers. I think I did update you on this in one of the recent vlogs the fixer upper house that um, our friend is living in, there has been so many problems with it, like leaks everywhere, everything collapsing, everything, that's dramatic, nothing collapsed, nothing. That was really dramatic. That's what it feels like. But there's just been a lot of teething things. Obviously we did a massive renovation to it, an extension, a loft conversion. And like with any project like that, you have kind of like teething issues. So that's just been, kind of, we've been popping back and forth there all the time, organizing roofers, getting the roof done. Like that's just been kind of, in the back burner, like causing a lot more stress than I thought it would have. So kind of regret that one. Although I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because up to this point, well, up to about last week, there hadn't been a day that hadn't gone by where something, like we weren't having to organize something for that project. Um, so that ended up just taking up a lot more time. I feel like I'm, I'm just ranting to you guys. I promise I'm not complaining. <laughs> I promise I'm just like ranting to you as I would to my friends <laughs> um, because you are my friends and I, I enjoy ranting to you. Yeah, so that was a whole palaver and has been going on, but I can see the light and I'm like, it's going to be fine. Things finally feel a bit more put together in the house as if they're going to not be leaking every five seconds. So that was that. So we had the house movie, had that. Then we've also been organising. We are potentially, well, we are launching a brand, but we are hoping it's gonna be in 2024. It was actually gonna to, meant to be originally in March, 2024. It's kind of moved more now to a September, 2024, but I don't really care when it releases. The perfection of the product, which is one product that I am, it's my dream brand, guys. Probably some of you can guess what it's gonna be, but basically we're organizing to fly out to the factory, which is in Turkey. So we've been going back and forth about all these things, sampling things, kind of like obviously to and from Turkey. But now I just wanna get out there, fit the samples on me and our business partner who we're doing it with. And my mum's gonna come out with me as well because I need to go out with Mabel because I'm still feeding Mabel every few hours. But we'll be away too long from Amber. We haven't really been away from Amber for more than like one night. So James is gonna stay here with Amber. So we've been sorting out all of that as well. And like when that would work and how it would work with kind of like when the factory can do that and stuff. So 
that's been another thing we've been organizing those are kind of like the main things that have been taking up my headspace and then i think just going into the new year it's always that like super overwhelming feeling of like having to set yourself like goals and things like that and just don't just don't worry guys if you're not setting goals you've set a goal by not setting a goal do you know what i mean or if you've set goals and you've not stuck to them like it's it's a fun thing to do if it works for you and you like doing it but please don't feel guilty if goals aren't what you need in your life right now or whatever one thing though that on that note that i did set for myself which i did post about on instagram was oh my god i just made the weakest tea in the world that is not like me how long was that tea bag in there like five seconds that's basically just milk can what was i saying oh yeah gymshark 66 so gymshark do this kind of like 66 days to form a habit um, and I said that I was going to be doing movement for 66 days straight. But on Instagram, I made sure it was very clear that for me, the movement for 66 days is because I'm very passionate about fitness, moving your body and everything. As you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, when I, whenever I've kind of like done a gym session or whatever, I'm very passionate about movement, which is not based around how we look, which is not based around pressure or like restriction or doing it because we hate ourselves or we're feeling guilty like i feel like i've come such a long way on that journey of weight gain and everything like that i needed that to almost fall back in love with fitness in this new way that i have and then so in the post i was talking all about sorry i'm just gonna grab a box because i want to show you some samples yeah i was basically talking all about how movement it sounds like dramatic because it sounds like it's going to be like movement like doing a full workout every day for the 66 days but it's 100 not i'm aiming for like two if that 20 minute or 30 minute workouts a week the rest is like a stretch it's yoga a walk um and if if i can't fit anything in for the day it is just mindfully doing one star jump before bed you know it's that active thought of uh, that, that it's hard to explain but i think the daily thought of wanting to move my body for my, he my mental health, my actual health, my self-care, everything like that. Overall, I will move my body more, but this only works for me anyway, if there is absolutely no guilt and no, like, pressure of like, do you know what I mean? So like, it's just a, a way to remind myself that I want to move my body for my health and for my mental health, but there is no pressure to be doing, like to hit any goals of, not even like, health goals because that's just not where i am in my life right now and i finished that post that i did on instagram i did a voiceover and at the end i said that there's which i really like love this kind of like concept that there is different seasons of life your, your different seasons of life have different amounts of movement in them okay i said it in a more gracious way on the reel and i can't remember how i said it now but i was basically saying that you know some seasons of your life you can work out however many times a week some seasons of your life you can work out no times a week. Some seasons of your life you can prioritise your health. Some seasons of your life it's really hard to prioritise your health. And I just think it's all about being your own best friend, being kind to yourself, and just doing it all for the right reasons. That for me has been the biggest thing that kind of like changed and just was amazing for me in 2023. So that's something that I'm trying to do. Bear in mind, I haven't actually done... I did a walk yesterday with the girls, which was nice, but uh, today I haven't actually done anything. I'm thinking today's a one-star jump before bed. And I'm, and I'm fine with that. So I've got to go through all of these samples now. So these are my shoot day samples that have just arrived for my next in the style collection. Oh, next in the style collection. So I've got one coming up in, oh, this is the one coming up in January, sorry. Then I've got swim in April. I don't even know if I'm meant to be saying this, but I'm just on this new thing that I'm just going to blurt out everything to you guys on YouTube because nobody seems to, you know, know in the style don't watch my youtube so it's fine i've got then swim in april which is like a swim slash kind of getting into spring we got some like linen trousers <clears throat> try on all these now make sure they're all correct and ready to go for the shoot day which is next week but i think i'm just doing an at home uh shoot day for that because we haven't got time to travel like we usually would for it with this other trip that we're planning to turkey so let's try on the samples i literally love when the sun just beams in through the windows and guys it's starting to feel like we're getting there i mean we're not at all it's still such short days um in terms of sunlight and i'm not gonna lie me and james have definitely sorry the camera <laughs> i'm carrying the samples box <laughs> up the stairs me and james have definitely been struggling oh, this year with sad seasonal oh, i forget it every time but basically the lack of sunlight it can be really hard but so anytime the sun beams in we just lap it in. Our Lumi light though, 
Guys, the one that we showed you, not gonna lie, it's in the filming room because I've been using it for, uh, instead of a ring light, because it is so bright. But, gosh, I've literally got to hide in my cupboard, it's so sunny. Yeah, it's been helping so much, that Lumi light. It really, really helped me and James. Um, James like struggles with it more than me and he really kind of, it's just like, yeah, it's just, I think it's just such a common thing um, that isn't talked about enough. But sunnier days are coming. January is a hard month, I find. I always feel like I find January really hard and I know James does as well and I know probably so many of you guys do too. So we're just being kind to ourselves. We're looking forward to sunnier days, but not too much that we wish away the year. <laughs> focusing on the little things. Um, so I'm literally getting into my cupboard to escape the sun. <laughs> you can't see the clothes otherwise. Okay, this I love the snuggly sweatshirts that we do with my in the style ranges. This I'm literally gonna try. What if I put my blind down a bit? Okay, we're getting quite dark vibes now, but I think at least you can see the product. Um, this is like a loungy set. I've got the black, this is long as well. It's like a really stretchy, comfortable, like pajamary. <sighs> So I've reviewed most of those. Sorry about the slightly hectic. <laughs> come back to YouTube. So yes, I'm gonna <laughs> come down to talk to you. Hop in the shower now. I've got 10 minutes till I need to leave for my mum's and I just remembered that I still have my fake tan on. <laughs> you know you put your fake tan on and you like, you're meant to wash it off. Well, it's still on, it needs washing off. So I'm gonna wash off the fake tan, rip off the makeup with the LMS cleansing balm and then shoot out the house and go and get Amber. James and Mabel are still on a walk. They must be doing a hike. I literally love, I like look forward to using the Animus Cleansing Balm. Is it just me? No, it's not because I feel like it's a viral product for a reason. Since doing that, like allergy testing, I'm like, should I be more lenient? Because I did, so I did that allergy patch test, if you don't know what I'm on about. The one where you like stick all those things on your back and it kind of like tells you what you're allergic to. And I wasn't actually allergic to anything. But obviously eczema is like an autoimmune chronic condition that it's not just about allergies. It's just you being kind of sensitive to everything <laughs> or different things kind of I, I just will irritate your eczema even if you're not like allergic to them or whatever. I still feel like since having the, since knowing, oh, I'm not actually like, specifically allergic to like scents well the ones they tested anyway the 70 like most common ones that they tested i'm like mm, maybe like i started wearing perfume again and it hasn't been flaring me up but i started doing other things that before i wouldn't have done i was almost ready to go and then i forgot that i hadn't moisturized my face after cleansing and that would just be tight face torture best moisturizer ever love it keels so 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 creamy so lightweight so Lovely, love it. Really lovely aesthetic lighting here for you guys. Oh, that's better. I've been obsessed with the skin of me. I know I've done my um, few collabs with them over on Instagram, but I did actually start using them before working with them. Um, but they've been kind of floating around everywhere at the moment. But if you haven't heard of them, they're just like an amazing skin brand. Okay, moisturized and ready to go, guys. Let's go. Woo. <laughs> Good morning. Morning guys. It is currently 11 a.m. still in my jammies. It's the next day. Um, yesterday by 11 a.m. I felt like I was conquering the world. Doing hello. Hello Scrammy. Doing all sorts. Started my filming. I was get cracking on with things and now today I feel like a hot mess at 11. Still in my jammies. Getting the bare min done. That's a pile of mess in the background, but there we go. That's life. That's life. Um, and you've got snotties everywhere. Lovely. And you are a dribbly snotter. A dribbly snotty because you're teething. This one's teething. She's been up quite yeah. a bit in the night lately. <laughs> Can you see? You saying hello? Hello. You do your waving. Good girl. Her little wave is like this. It brings me a lot of happiness, doesn't it? Good waving. Is that fun? Oh, that's very special. She goes like this. Everyone on, we went to Tenerife and we came back a couple of days ago and she was waving at everyone like that in the restaurants. So everyone was like, oh, they thought she was saying like, 
but I was like, that's her way. So yes, she uh, is up quite a bit in the nights at the moment. I mean, she's still up. I'm just checking that radio is not hot. No, she's still up three times a night anyway. <laughs> and um, Amber did that until I stopped breastfeeding. She woke up three times a night. So I kind of knew for a feed. So I kind of knew that was always going to be the case, but I feel like, don't know why, but it always gets towards like, cause she's literally guys going to be one. <laughs> You're going to be one years old. What's happening? What's happening? Where's my baby gone? She's going to be one years old in like eight weeks. That is just crazy to me. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, like I think towards, I don't know, towards getting to a year, I remember it with Amber. I just, <laughs> even though I've been feeding three times a night for nearly a year, towards the end, I'm just like, I can't do it anymore. But yeah. So I've just whipped some gym stuff on. I've just put Mabel down for an act. She was so tired. I don't think I really finished my... Um, last whatever I was saying earlier but I think I was basically saying I think towards like I feel like it takes at least like a year after having a baby to start even remotely feeling like yourself again and then as it comes more to like feeling back to a bit more like yourself and you start kind of like doing more things for yourself or you know taking on a little bit more in life or going out with your friends more doing things more late at night and life kind of returns a little bit more to normal, I think that's when you realise how tired you are from being up at night or doing the night feeds, um, because you're trying to kind of live more, like, and do, like, push yourself doing more normal, like, fun things. Anyway, I'm just feeling it lately. Um... Oh, I could just close my eyes and rest. <laughs> um, I'm feeling, yeah, just, yeah. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, to be honest. My brain's, my brain's not working, guys. <laughs> but I'm just... <laughs> What am I trying to say? I felt like I was going on to say something then and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, I think I was just gonna say that Mabel was teething. So that was kind of adding to it, which is why I think I've been just feeling like an absolute slug today um, after waking up. So basically James had a meeting all morning this morning. So me and the girls were just kind of having breakfast and doing stuff. And then he came straight back from the meeting and went straight to gymnastics with Amber. So that's where they've gone. Mabel's gone down for her nap. So now, I got a bit of time so I really should clean the kitchen because it's an absolute mess but I'm gonna go and do a little 20 minute workout for my movement of the day and then we can clean the kitchen after. Outfit of the day today I reach so much lately for my sweat seamless I just find them a really good option for um like workouts and stuff you guys know I'm obsessed with my Elevate leggings and my legacy leggings for like my plain gym shark my plain black like everyday leggings but the sweat seamless ones are just for I love them for working out and they're just really like they're not restrictive but they're yeah I don't know anyway these are the size large I really like them and this is just a little cami that I like and then that's the sweat seamless bra that I love as well okay fit check let's go It's a little bit later on now. Everyone's back home, managed to get a spin session in, just got on ready for, because we're going out to the house viewing soon. This is today's outfit of the day. Amber and Mabel are playing. I don't know if you can hear them. They are so cute together. They have started to play. Obviously, Mabel still like can't say anything to Amber or anything, but Amber, like Bob, would tend to be the shop lady. She's like, what do you want, customer? Oh, right, you'd like this. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Just so cute. And Mabel literally sits there like this. She adores Amber, it is the best. So I'm thinking, outfit of the day, excuse the messy room. This is actually what I forgot to show you yesterday. Part of the 
collection that's coming out in January, this half zip. I know I've been wearing it on Instagram for so long and loads of you are excited for this one half zip in the January collection. Um, but we're going mum jeans, shoes, this type of vibe today. Feeling it then. So this is the grey, um, the beigey like mushroom coloured half zip. And then this is the other one that I've been wearing loads that you guys are asking about. Yeah? Okay. She asked me. She's like, she just wants to play on her own with Mabel. So when I go in, she's like, go away, no grown ups. Um, but she always asks me to put her and Mabel in the cot, like together. So they're in this little, like, that's their den apparently. And then they unbox their toy. I'll try and show you. No grown-ups, is it? No grown-ups. Okay. Just you and Mabel? Me and Mabel on the left. So cute. So cute. I love this stage so much. James is downstairs. Not sure what he's doing, but he's prepping something. Worky email something before we go. I'm going to chuck these shoes on. I'm not sure I'm put them on now. What? Yeah, they want to play with the Calpol syringe. Orange one. Yeah, the orange one. Here it is. What is it about kids? They just love playing with this little, little Calpol syringe. There's no Calpol in it. They just, it's good, isn't it? You pretending to be doctor? So I'm just, I just literally like chill around doing my tidying while they ask to be in the car. It's pretty, pretty ideal to be honest. Guys, I've literally just put so much setting spray on my face. <laughs> it is dripping. I don't know what just happened. I got carried away with the glowy setting spray. I don't know if you can see, it's literally wet. So I'm gonna have to just leave that dry for about three hours. It's really gray, gloomy, you can hear the wind. It's that very stormy weather at the moment. Like the wind noise in this room is really bad. You can, hello. Hi. I'm just vlogging. Hi. Oh, this is your first clip. Hi. Hi, James. Happy 2024. <laughs> I'm gonna go get my hair cut. New year, new Good year. Good idea. Love, oh, when we put Mabel down for a nap, is it? Yeah. She's going down now. She is. Hi, Niels. I don't want to show too much, guys. I'm barely wearing any clothes. <laughs> and yet the window's wide open. I know, the neighbours have Hi, a... everyone. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my show. <laughs> the neighbours. I crouch down, guys. It's fine. I went to... And then I pop up, and then they're coming out in their car, and I crouch. I'm filming some content this morning for my other channel, uh, YouTube, and then I'm doing my In The Style haul. In The Style haul? In The Style... I can't get my words out today, guys. Shoot day. Hello, baby. You coming to say hello? Hello. We've just been upstairs basically all morning. Amber's gone to my mum's for the day. Hello, come here. We've been just like sorting things out. James has been doing the clothes. Today's the day. Hello. Today's the day. Hello, cheeky jumper. Hello, cheeky jumper. You're ready for your nap, aren't you? You're snotty again. Snotty body. Snotty. Daddy, daddy. Daddy, daddy. Can you say bye bye? Bye-bye. <laughs> she was literally saying the other day when we were leaving James's parents, bye-bye. I was like, that cannot be a coincidence, guys. Bye-bye. And you do a lovely little wave. And what's your other favorite thing to say? Oh, her nodded. That's lovely, hello. Maybe we should practice, hello. <laughs> oh, you're just like waving. Yeah, today's the day that I'm shooting the collection. Like I said before, like in the past, we kind of used to, well, not that long ago, go to the Cotswolds or go to these shoot locations where we did it. But with our life now and how kind of hectic it is and with the girls, it just works better for me to shoot at home. I know it's not as glamorous, but I think I just found after doing it once, no one really cared in a, in a good way of like, it wasn't really about the location. It was just about like, I think people just more enjoyed me just being at home, wearing the clothes and just talking about, you know, why I chose to design these ones and this and that. Right, I'm going to pop this one to Betty Buys because she is very tired and do her nap. Should we do night-night? Night-night. Wake up time! Night-night. Wake up time! Night-night. <laughs> Wake up time! Night-night. <laughs> She's so cute. Okay, so we're halfway through shooting the collection. Um, the other half of the collection is actually due to arrive today. So I'm really hoping, because we've got a hectic rest of the week with traveling to Manchester, like fitting sessions, 
um, on the fit model, like seeing all the samples and everything for June. So we're making a trip of that with both the girls and we're gonna go to like Westland Safari. Is it called Westland Safari Park? Yeah, like on the way, cause it's kind of like in between here and Manchester. So we're doing that this week and then tomorrow we have like a full day of house viewings. So I'm really hoping that it arrives in time to shoot it today or I'm gonna have to rearrange something. Um, to get that done tomorrow. Yeah, so halfway through that, James and Mabel are downstairs. I'm gonna go and join them. We're gonna have some lunch together. And then hopefully the collection will arrive soon. I feel like there was something else I was gonna tell you guys. And I can't remember what it is. Hello, are you going to let Mila in? Good girl. You're gonna be very helpful. Hello, hello. Oh my gosh, it's so windy still. No, the leaves, the whole garden is just blowing up, guys. We've got to literally tie the trampoline down. Hello. Hello, cheeky girl. What are you doing? You're cooking with daddy. Hello, oh, come give me a cuddle. Fresh dinner, hello, fresh. Ooh. Super quick lunch. <gasps> the hair. Oh, the it? hair. Honestly, James, that's my favourite haircut. I know, it looks good, doesn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Did you walk down? Well, it's like the barber shop, isn't it? And you get loads of different barbers. Yeah. There's two that are particularly good at doing my hair. Right. The others are great at doing other people's hairs. But they just James, get James, I you love know. it. You need to copy and paste that every time. I should take a photo. Take a photo. I say recreate. Can I to this, please? <laughs> it looks so good. But I can never get over how quick James's hair grows. It literally looks like that for like a week, won't it? Yeah. And then it'll be grown out. But I don't know what they do. Do you get me? Because they're like, do you want it a tapered or a, or a straight back? And I'm like, <laughs> you I'm don't like, even know the words. I'm just like, what do you think? <laughs> And for the first time today, the guy actually explained what they meant. Oh! Usually I'm like, whatever you think. So, what have you got? Best. So, it's probably taste tapers taped? at the back. Yeah. Which means that it like blends. Nice. Like, do you want a high fade or a low fade? Oh I was like, um, maybe like a medium fade. <laughs> you have no clue. Well, well, you need to remember now what you've done for that one. I know. You've forgotten already, it's haven't a you? Medium high fade. Oh, it's a medium high fade. Okay, good. Let's go for that every time I've then. Mark here. Mark here, right? For there. It does look slightly different every time, but to be fair, they can't go too wrong. But I was just laughing about the amazing difference between men and women, because there was a guy down there sitting next to me mm. who was like, oh, I just want this and this, I'm getting married in a few days. And that was like me for our wedding. I was like, I'm getting married tomorrow, so can you just do an okay job? <laughs> the difference going. between women, we've got to go for like hair trials, see what you style. You had a hair trial I did. everything. And I, I was like, yeah, just, just give me something okay. I'm it's short, isn't it? Tomorrow. Tidy up, give it a clean. <laughs> Are you okay? What have you been up to? Also, guys, I think if any Italians are watching, I have like them the cardinal you... sin. Oh yeah. I'm chopping up the mushrooms so yeah. that it's easier for the girls to eat. But nice. Have you shown that we do this? Oh, for the girls. Yeah. Yeah. It just, it just makes life easier. It's so it? much like, easier. I feel like you everyone break it is up. like spaghetti obsessed. Yeah. Like, you can't break it. Up. It's a crime. <laughs> <laughs> you just break it up. Yeah, because then otherwise we try. It's just like effort to chop all chop the spaghetti up. once it's cooked for the girls. Exactly. But we do give ourselves long spaghetti. Don't worry about that. We do. I'm going to treat ourselves separately. It's yeah. okay, guys. We obviously <laughs> never do the snappy snappy for us. No, we don't, James. No, don't act no, like no, we do. <laughs> That before I don't yeah, even care. I just I, don't. I just shovel it down my mouth, guys. I clearly don't even notice. Oh, this is what we're cooking. This looks amazing. Yum. Hi guys. Okay. Finished filming content and stuff for the day. Remembered I forgot to show you my knitted cardigan. Remember I was I thought that thing was gonna go off again. Those kids' toys going off 24-7. So yes, we are picking up Amber soon. She's actually gone to the cinema for the first time with my mum today and I'm so excited to see her when we pick her up because whenever she does something like new, like she goes to a show or she's like been to the cinema today for the first time, we will just sit and talk. She loves to tell stories and like she will sit and just tell me all about it. I think I, I showed you guys before when she was telling me about when she went to see Hansel and Gretel and she was literally like re like reciting the whole like story to me and I just can't wait. She's gone to see the new Disney film Wish. Um, and I can't wait to hear what she's gonna tell me all about. And it just, it's such a lovely, like, thing I love doing when, like, I, we've kind of had a working day and she comes home and we just get to, like, sit and chat and kind of, like, connect over what she's been up to, which is so lush. So, what was I saying? So, yeah, we're going to pick up Amber soon. Um, I just wanted to, ooh, sorry, my grandma's ringing me. Sorry, I'm back. My grandma just called me. She was like, do you know where your mum is? I was like, she's in the cinema. I was, um, she needed to call my mum about something, but she wasn't getting through to her. And my mum never goes to the cinema. And cinema's like one of the only places you can't, obviously you're not on your phone. Right, guys, the knitted jumper. Wait, let me pull the, 
half on, half off. Let me pour the pour the hot water on my teeth. So I was knitting this for ages. I think in one of the last vlogs before Christmas, I would have been showing you guys my progress of my knitted jumper. But I basically just went to Hobbycraft, got one of their little booklet things, which was like a chunky cardigan, um, what do they call it, pattern to knit. And then I just knitted it. But the, the funniest thing is, it's not funny, it's actually very sad. I'm actually allergic to wool. And I knitted it all in wool. So it's so itchy for me, but I'm thinking, Maybe if I like put it in the wash, put loads of fabric softener on it. I feel like maybe you can't see it, see it very well in this uh, lighting and I'm not, I'm not stepping. <laughs> Guys, this is my life, right? I'm stepping on <laughs> these letters as I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> I'm just, one of those little letters is getting stuck to my foot every five seconds. All right, let me show it to you in the mirror. You know, it's, it's in. It's imperfectly perfect. There's also a massive sofa cushion on the floor. So we're just gonna move that for a minute. Okay, it's way too bright. You probably can't see a thing. Oh look, if we come a bit closer. Okay, the sun is the sun is sunning, guys. But it is definitely imperfectly perfect. Look, we've got a little hole there. I just literally scagged one bit on the way down. I think I scagged that little bit of sleeve. But I'm so chuffed with it. I'm literally so, so chuffed. It's the cutest little chunky cardigan. And look at the back. I'll show it to you on here right so i can show you right guys i can show you my skills my cable knit back so the sleeves have i think it's called moss stitch can't even remember what this is called this i can't remember um and then we got a cable knit on the back guys i'm obsessed i just need to now recreate that because it's my perfect cardigan shape i just need to recreate it in like either like a merino wool which i think is like soft and I don't find itchy on my skin or like a cotton you know like knitted jumpers like can be 100% cotton sometimes so I'm assuming there's like cotton wool not wool cotton thread or something I could use we'll see but I'm chuffed with that oh and while my tea brews so I was coming to the end of that around Christmas time and then James got me for Christmas it's in the lounge because I usually do it when we're chilling in the evening I think James by the way Mabel's gone for her second nap and I think James is in here working there he is Oh, lovely Mila. Thank you so much. That was gorgeous. You just wanted to say a little hello, did you? <laughs> With a nice little gag. Um, this is what James does every day, just on his computer, on his laptop in his little desk corner. So James got me for Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, James, you're not interested enough. I'm just talking about knitting here rather than planning to you doing work at all. Are just getting worse and worse. I know, look at them. Like, what happened? But Amber what goes yesterday. Yeah. She was literally like, why are there no pictures yeah, of me on there? Really cool. <laughs> she's like, where am I? Yeah. I was like, mm. um, I was like, yes, Amber, you're right. I need to get some pictures of you and Mabel. I mean, these are super old. They're literally from when, well, that's from when we got engaged. Well, they're just like, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they are, you're right, yeah. Oh, New York on the end there. But yeah, we, we need to get some new ones. We've got Amber and Mabel enough. We do, don't we? And we we've got... Need any. Well, we've got Amber. We've got none of Mabel. There she is. <laughs> In the womb. <laughs> That'll do. And I also, like, printed, like, a million photos from when Amber was um, a baby, as you do. Like, look how many I've got. <laughs> like, massive. Yeah, we said when Mabel turned a year old, we'd go back yeah. to the year and uh, print the five photos we've got of her. <laughs> I know. I do really need to get some printed. Um, so sorry, you just carry on. I'm just uh, chatting about crafts here. So yeah, James then got me for Christmas. So excited. A blanket to do, which I was excited about because uh, I think he went for a blanket because I'd been a little bit stressed doing my cardigan. Like every night I was thinking that we'd be able to watch telly and I would just carry on knitting my cardigan. But in reality, I was like, I need to do a loop through, stitch through, pull back. Like trying to do all this like tapering and the armholes and then sewing it together was just a nightmare. So I was like, right, next project, I need a simple one. So he's gone for a super chunky blanket and he couldn't have nailed it anymore. It's basically just this really lovely, that does not give you a good idea of what it is. Um, it's gonna be like this, really chunky. This was me doing my tester because how hilarious are these needles, guys? Because the wool is so chunky, you basically have a tiny bit of needle and then um, a thread. Sorry, I'm not showing this to you very well. You get like a tiny bit of needle and then this thread, which all the stitches go onto, and then that's what you knit with, like knit, 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 knit. But there's gonna be 52 stitches. That was just my tester. And so they'll all go onto this. So it's rather than having these massive chunky needles like that um so yeah i've just done my little tester bit there and then 
I'm gonna start on the blanket I think tonight. The other thing I'm trying to get back into is my embroidery. I'm trying to make time, like I said, because me and James are like passing ships, um, doing all different things in the day at the moment. Um, we try and make time to kind of like have time together in the evening, but then if I, if say like James is going out with his friends or whatever, and I am on my own in the evening, then I really struggle and I'll like scroll on my phone and do stuff like that. So I love, that's why I love having my craft. So I can like emerge myself in my craft to like stop myself going on my phone and just scrolling forever. Even though I'm not the best, I still end up scrolling a lot of the time more than I would like to. So yeah, then I want to get back into my embroidery. Where did I put that? And somebody I follow posted something really sweet about, it was just all about this quote. You guys know how much I love a quote. I can't remember the exact quote, but it was all about like how basically we're always like, I'll be happy when, I'll be happy when I've got this job, I'll be happy when, you know, I've got a bit more time, I'll be happy when this happens, that happens. And it's just like, actually, I'm happy now. So that was what I embroidered. I'm happy now. I'm not actually happy. <laughs> I'll be happy when I get this embroidery right. That is such a funny irony that I was just gonna go on to say like, I'm not that happy with it, okay? Because the lettering's not right and nothing's, it didn't really turn out how I wanted it to look. But the message is there. I'm happy now. And I was just playing around with a little bit of embroidery and I was thinking of like printing, I got some like letter stamps that I do with Amber and I was thinking of putting them above, like I'll be happy when, and then like crossing it out and then I'm happy now. I just love that like, I'm happy now. Like, I'm happy now. Why do we need to always be looking for the next thing? I'll be happy when I do this. I'll be happy when I do that. Like, no, I'm happy now. I'm happy with my cup of tea. I'm happy with all the amazing things that I'm blessed with. So yeah, that's my craft update for you guys. I feel like I have chatted your faces off a million, about a million different things in this vlog now. But, oh, we run out of sugar. We're gonna have to go brown sugar in the, in the tea. Whenever I run out of sugar, I just stop putting brown, brown sugar in my teas and coffees. Um, so yes, basically now I'm just gonna sit, have my cup of tea, do some editing while I have my cuppa on my phone, then run upstairs, take the makeup off, and go and get Amber. And that's it, and we've got house viewings tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. Hello guys, it is now the next day? Did I vlog yesterday? I can't remember. Hello, you. No, my haircut yesterday. Oh, yeah. The days are just flowing by. So, we have just come back from. <laughs> the days are just going by so fast that I didn't know how many days it had been. <laughs> I know. So, we have had a morning of house viewings. We had two house viewings this morning. And also, one last sample has arrived for my section. Oh, yeah, in the sample. Yeah, I've done the shoot day. Well, I just did like the at home shoot day, like I was saying. But. One of the pieces didn't make it in time because I know one of the last things I vlogged was I was waiting for the rest of the samples, but they did arrive, thank goodness. But one little piece was left, so I'm going to have to randomly shoot this lost on its own. It's going to look completely different from the rest of the samples, but there we go. Are you sure little... with the despair look of our um, trampoline? Mm, clinging on and for Sad, dear life. At the back of the garden oh, there. It's just not the time of year, guys. <laughs> it's not for me. It's I know. Really, uh... It's not as well, is it? It's there, clinging on. <laughs> We had to tie it to that massive tree because it was the ma like storm thing coming in. Tie all your stuff down. And then after we tied that down, someone I follow on Instagram said they, they woke up with their trampoline in their garden, in their neighbor's garden the next morning. And like, how do you get it back? How do you get it back? You have to crane it back over. Crane it? They're not that heavy. What are you gonna do? Pass it over? Oh, could you just pick up my trampoline and pass it to me? Well, you can go and help them. I'm not saying your neighbor should take it. Oh, it over the fence. It's yeah. a high fence. You can roll it. How high is the fence? It's high. <laughs> I don't know, James. It's quite tempted. Too high to pass it over. But well, hopefully, you just need a gust of wind going the other way. And exactly. Then you can just throw it in the air. It's, it's never going to flow back over now, so it's stuck in. Yeah. So I'm glad we tied it down. Sorry. Can I have to go all the way around well. the world, going in the same direction until it came back? Where's your letters? Do you want to go and have a look at your letters? You've got no idea. She's so lonely when Amber's not here. Well, she's not that lonely. She's whizzing around, whizzing around with us. But uh, when she does her playtime, she's like, I wish Amber was here to throw these letters in the air and whiz them in my face like that. It's quiet time when she's on her own. <laughs> it's just so peaceful. I know, look how peaceful that is. Amber would have these sprawled across the floor. Is that nice? Hello. 
Oh, you're so lucky. Yes. The gym. So we've done. We had two house rooms this morning. Absolutely loved one of them, but we're trying not to let our heart get too carried away because of the fact, obviously, we're not actually proceedable yet. So I absolutely loved it, guys. But I really struggle to not get like. I'm like, am I moving right now? Sold. Love it. Um. So we had to try and not get like that because our. You know, we're actually not proceedable yet, but it's nice that we found another one that we love. Um, so yeah, just trying to like, that's fine. I find it hard to then not like think about it all the time. Um, just because I'm a very home based person, like you guys know, I just like, I'm a bit of a like home, I just love it. Um, anyway, so we've done that this morning. Now, the afternoon, this afternoon has been in the calendar for so long. We're having the strategy meeting of 2024 with our managers, which like I was saying in one of the last clips, is that's the type of work where me and James actually come together and do our work, which is quite nice. We get to like do that type of worky stuff together. So we basically got a massive call all afternoon when Mabel naps. Hopefully she often goes down for like a two hour nap um, at around three o'clock. So we're hoping to get a big long call in then. And we basically go over, oh, tripping over the letters again, the whole of the strategy for 2024 basically it's kind of boring but also i find it really exciting because we just talk about brands and like different things and like goals and different things that we like look, would want to do and like how we can kind of achieve those goals and like work with certain because i just love working with brands that i love and i also i love like being introduced to new brands through what we do but i also love like say for example elemis I know I, sh I was literally taking off with my LMS cleansing balm. I haven't worked with LMS before and that's like a bit of a dream of mine to work with them because that product has been so important to me. And even though I've already linked it and I've already shared it, I still just find that exciting working with brands that I love and like really just want to share and talk about their products. So I just love that whole side of social media. So I really enjoy like the strategy calls and the strategies behind everything. And our managers are just lovely as well. So we just have a lovely little catch up call with them all afternoon. Hi. Have a nice time. It's raining. <laughs> yeah, it's raining and stormy. Bye. James is going to try and get a quick workout in before. <gasps> Hello, Jiggy. Boom. Where's your pouch gun? Where's your other pouch gun? Cheeky mm -hmm. chaps. This is the cutest little one, isn't it? I literally love it. Look. It's got little bears. Pinky bears. Right, Missy Moo, you ready to come with me then? We've just had a little little afternoon snacksies and we are gonna go upstairs now. Like I said, I think I said, James is going to the gym. We've got literally half an hour before the call. So we're gonna go upstairs, do a little bit of sorting and organizing. And then Mabel's going down for her second nap. You look daddy. He's smiling at me. <laughs> He's like, where's he gone? Yeah, so we're going to do a little bit of sorting and then pop Mabel down for a nap. All ready for the call. That's a bit late to be waving, babes. He's gone. We missed it. We missed it. <laughs> Hello, so we've just finished our meeting. Mabel joined us for the last little bit. Very productive, very exciting, lots of plans, lots of motivational oh, talk. Ribena. What? No, I'm not having more Ribena. You're with such children. Like, what? I just, halfway through the meeting, like, I got me and James a, a Ribena, and I was like, sorry guys, we're so childish with our little glass of Ribena. Um, we but never I love used it. to drink squash, did we? You we can't never used to drink squash. No. Before. You get a lot of Ribena. And no, I can't now stop. that we get it. Amber Look at you and Mabel one. matching. That is really aesthetic. Let me just remove that stand back. I'm feeling this outfit. Wow. Aesthetic girls, baby. Yeah. Isn't that really awkward? She's kind of, she's not quite fitting in her nine to 12 month. No, uh, not quite. Her six to nine month is so tight. I die, 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 I did. Look, guys, James and her have matching teeth. They literally have matching teeth! You do! So, guys, we are now just waiting so for Amber to come home. 
Superman. We hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to love you and leave you. See you in the next video. Say bye. Can you wave? Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye guys. Bye. <laughs> She's like, what? We're not going anywhere. <laughs> bye guys. Love you. Bye. Thanks for watching.